So our story started here in 1916, um, even before, uh, when my grandfather bought the land and uh, he registered it. So we have uh, documents from uh, four periods, from the Ottomans, the English, the Jordanians and the Israelis. And he moved from with his family and they, they used to live in a cave on the property. Uh, so my father and uncle, they grew up this way and they continued the vision of their father and they farmed the land they lived here until they passed away. They wanted the best for the new generation. So my father's dream was actually to devote his land for a peace project, but he died before fulfilling his dream. And now with the project we are doing here, the Tent of Nations, we are trying to fulfill my father's dream. We have a summer camp uh, with children. We are working with uh, children and uh, with Muslim children as, as Christian children do and we focus on creative workshops. We want the children to understand that they are able to shape their future by their own hands. My father uh, followed his, his father's vision. He was a spiritual man and he was evangelist. He was doing children work and uh, uh, meetings, prayer meetings in Bethlehem area. And he was telling us stories from the Bible. So we, we grew up in a Christian family. We are Christians from the beginning here, you know, Arab Christians. The difficulties we are facing started actually in 1991, when we heard by chance that the Israelis are going to take the land to build a new settlement. And the land is located now on a hill, which is the only hill that is under Palestinian control. Although we have all papers from four periods, still not enough to prove our ownership. We are in court since 1991, 12 years of legal battle in front of the military court and more than eight years in front of the Supreme Court with a financial burden of $150,000. You know, we are not allowed here to have running water, no electricity and no building permit. And last year we received from the Israeli authorities nine demolishing orders. The idea is um, to make it difficult for us to exist here. We had difficulties from the settlers. They damaged our water tank, they threatened us with guns, they came here, they uprooted trees and they uprooted uh, 250 olive trees from our property. This situation is forcing people whether to react in a violent way um, or resign or leave. There are some people who believe in violence, uh, but of course violence will create more violence, will create more hatred, will create more bitterness. So the second group is becoming like passive people, sitting down and crying and blaming the other. This is not um, the, the way we want to act. We are not victims and we don't want to be victims. And the third group, and among them are the Christians, they are leaving the country. So they are giving up and leaving the country in our situation here, we said we will never act in a violent way. We will uh, never sit down and, and be a victim. And again, we are not leaving the area. We had to create uh, another way of action, which is the Jesus way. Mm -hmm. So we said we refuse to be enemies. We are living our faith. It's not enough to believe in something, but the important is to live your faith. We have to be like a picture for others. You know, being a witness is not easy because being a witness, we have to reflect God's picture to other people and they cannot force us to hate.